Hello, and welcome back to Path of Exile. This is episode 5 of the tips and tricks for new players generally. We've been playing slowly and methodically and explaining things as we go along and everything. I don't think I've really left much, if anything, out. Um, leveling gems, we push the plus thing. If you don't want to level a gem, there are certain reasons why you might not want to. You can always right-click on it, and it'll put it uh, right down over here. It'll put that put it in a list of gems that you currently have on pause. Um, so let's go over here and uh, scroll back out. And we're going to sell these things. Um, let's find out which which we need. Do we need alts or those? So that's a, we have a good combination of both, so we don't have to identify them. What? Let's uh, identify this, though. We have a 120 here. This has <clears throat> increased amount recovered. Increased charges per use. Uh, ten. We get three uses. We'll use this one. And now let's go back over and sell these. That. And that's not... This is red, red, green. It's going to be hard to replace. So I'm just going to go like that. At level 24, we're almost there. We can put our belt back on because I added the damage to it. And that raised the uh, level requirement. And a Mirage Archer support. We can just get rid of that. Looks good, except, and let's go dump this stuff in our, we have a currency tab, but otherwise you just put it in a regular tab like this, and then arrange it like you like. Uh, do we have one, two, three? One, two, three. Let's do this. This is going to be interesting. What? Sell items. One, two, three. 170. Let's do it. Now that's going to be better than that one. And we'll just put this back. That's what you do. You find three of the same kind. That's health. Three small manas would get us the next level up. And you just kind of do that. So if I have to find another one like this, I can get another one up to this level. And then I would combine these three and get a better one. And that's how you just level up. Or you can also buy them. There's different ways. But I do it that way because I don't usually have that much, curren that much currency. So, uh... We got a big, this thing was, this weapon was a huge, huge upgrade. It allowed us also to put a fourth link in there. Uh, so, so see how this, when you, when you hover over this, it says it, it supports that one, which is our Molten Strike. This supports that, which is our Molten Strike, with life gain on it. I could go a pure attack build and even have more damage, but this is makes life easy with life gain on hit. I can sit there and tank stuff and everything. And this helps as well. So uh, off we go. And this, if you hover over this, it highlights all of them. And it shows it down here as well. One, two, three. It shows all the different skills that are supporting that gem and making it different. And so you can really modify your, your spells the way you want. Well, let's go. Let's find out where we're supposed to go. Right over here, to the right of this line, is where all the uh, quests that are completed the left are the ones we still have to do. I think we had to go right over here. We're going to go right in there. And away we go. We're essentially playing, even though it doesn't say it, we're playing solo self-found. Because we are not doing any trading. That's a little bit advanced, so I want to introduce you to that stuff yet. Um, but you can do trades, too. We trade for anything. Woo! We have so much more um, damage now. 713, we drop that, we're up to 804, very nice. And we'll even take these two to sell them too. I just want to have enough materials. What about that one? Neat thing is, we can hop right up that cliff. Ooh, there's a bunch of guys here, we should probably just whack them. That's a nice find, an alteration chart, I'll take it. Always nice to be able to re-roll something. Well, let's go down here kill this spider. Was that spider actually climbing up? I think he was. Here's some boots. Right now, the only thing I really care about on boots is movement speed at this point. So, if I find movement speed that's better on here, I will put it on there. I increased rarity. That'd be nice. This steel skin, I'm going to move back over here just temporarily as well. That way, I could, if I get boots, I can just swap them in and not even worry about it. Let's get rid of that. And that, and that steel skin being on my left mouse, mouse, mouse button 
allows me to automatically cast it and move around. I don't even have to think about it. The idea behind this build is not really following a build guide. It's it's just easy and not too much thought involved. I like that. <laughs> it's easy and you just don't have to do press too many buttons and does a lot of stuff. I'm looking for the... Um, I think there's a... We can always confirm whether there's a um, waypoint in here. And I think there is. Probably like right over here, but we can confirm it by going like this. And then stepping out. Yeah, there's a waypoint. See if that little circle, that means there's a waypoint that hasn't been found yet. Once we find it, it'll look like that. It's probably right over to the right, just off of screen. Right. Oh. Also, what do we have to do with this thing? We don't want to go that way. Dexterity. Yeah, we're going to work our way up here this way. We get our belt back, too, in a second. Once we hit our next level. Let's take care of ooh, these two guys. Oh, nice. Even a whatchamacallit guy. Oh, come on. What is he? Why isn't he dying? That was a little weird. <laughs> uh, where is the, uh... Is it in the middle? <laughs> I've done this. Like maybe over there it is. Okay. Alright, so. Let's do it. And we'll go up to like, I don't know, 70% sounds good to me. If we die, it's not the end of the world either here because... We're not doing hardcore or anything right now. We're just playing solo self out. So there's no real penalty. We just have to go back to the beginning of the level, which is right over there. And we got our stuff for it. I think we did. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Did we? No, this should be turned off. So there must be a creature that's missing. Is he over here? Yep. There. Now we got it. I was like, I don't think we got it. I just heard that noise and I was like, is that it? Oh, come on. Which way is it? Is it going to be this way? I bet you it is. Jump up here. Jump up there. What level is this? 15 area. This is really too low a level. We'll cold kill this guy though. Yeah, this is ridiculously over. We're eight over level now, so we really have to get out of here. Come on. We'll unlock this. I think there's... We're gonna go south to the next part. And these are gray because we have to... We can't level it up because we don't meet the requirements. The requirements are level 24 to use that next level, so we can't level it up. But we will be able to unlock those very shortly. There's our experience so far. And there is a trial of the uh, Ascendancy in here. I've already done them all because... Ooh, a Vile Orb. That's our first Vile Orb, which is interesting. Let's pick that up and then we'll do the... Oh, come on, let's get that guy out of the way. And I'll show you what a Vile Orb does. Modifies an item unpredictably. <laughs> so uh, you need these for maps and the end game. So I'm going to save this. But um, you could, it, it, I mean, you could add an extra implicit, or it could brick the item, or corrupt it, or wipe it out. It could do all kinds of weird things. It's a, uh, it's kind of an end game item where you just want to gamble and see if you can get a really crazy item or possibly lose everything. So. But that's used. There's a lot of uses for this. So let's go. Oh, let's take our speed. Wow, now we're now we're cooking. Oh boy. And we'll cook this up. And we'll cook it there. We got a we got a third, almost a half a level last time. So if we do the same thing. Go about right there. That's fine. We'll drop a thing down. There's a big spider. Drop over here. Use our health potion. Our mana potion. An orb of 
enchants. Those are valuable for the end. And, oh, a gold amulet. But we need our mana regen. I really like that. And this is for item rarity, so you get more rare items when you're finding things. In ruthless mode, that's really, really, really ex uh, needed, to say the least. Item rarity. Is it just uh, item rarity? That item would more likely drop magic or as uh, rare, or maybe even unique. If you have a lot, if you're stacking up a lot of magic find, which is item uh, rarity. And where are we going here? There is a labyrinth around here that we normally do, but I've already done it on the... You only have to do the labs um, to unlock the lab, to unlock your ascendancies once per league. And I've already done the first five in this uh, trade league of Crucible, so I don't have to do those again. We could do it just for fun. We'll see. That is nice. Bigger the reach with this fireball, you know, I could reach way over there with that other spell. It is amazing. Where are we going here? Solve the ascendancy. The ascend oh, right over there is the ascendancy. See that book? That's the indicator of the ascendancy. Let's jump over there and get the book. <laughs> you can actually do builds where you do a leap slam build where the you know, you stack the power on Leap Slam, you just crush people, jump it on their heads. Well, let's go through there. Here's the second one. We're going to try to do it correctly. Don't get nipped in the heel there. You can jump over things like that. And like that. I think the door's on the other side. Right through here. And we got to do it twice. It closes the door, then it opens it, and then it switches another switch. Oh, easy. I was walking. I didn't notice that. I was walking right on him. <laughs> I was looking ahead here. Here it is. Take that. I'll open that back up. And then I think this door is open, or it may have been open already. And that's it. This is fairly easy. The first, you know, the first, second, third ones are easy. They get progressively harder. And then when you click this, oh, come on. I'll put this down here. That down here. I'll switch this to fill up that spot. What is it? This thing. We'll get rid of it. Is that a trip? Is that a... No. I don't even know why I picked that up. So that's way more valuable. Okay. Now, if you click this, it's going to open a portal right back to over here. So you don't have to run back. And I've done one, two, three, four, and five. I just have to do the sixth. And that's not for a while yet. So I won't do the next ones, but that's the idea behind them. I'll use my sprint potion, and away we go. There's so much more to this game, guys, that you wouldn't believe. And right up here is where the uh, next quest thing is. Toad him down, and away we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, we're way over level now. I'm trying to undo that. <laughs> and a recurve bow. What can I put in here instead? Oh, I've got a good stuff here, so I could do this. I'd rather take the recurve bow and sell it for more. All right. And now it says to go... This lady is going to say, hey, go uh, go to town. And you can do it with this or our trick. We're going to use our trick. Meet Helena in town. We're going to push escape. You can just double click on here. And away we go. And let's, we're going to sell. Oh, we got a gem. Okay, we got a pick. Warlord's Mark. Herald of Ash. That's a aura. That's going to... I don't know if I have my Vitality thing going. But that's going to reserve 20... If you have this, it's going to reserve 25% of your mana. So it'll chunk it off. But it's going to 
add an aura around you that does burning damage. It does um, it buffs my 15% of your physical damage as extra fire damage. So it's uh, it's a good buff. That's not bad. There's a Herald of Thunder that does a similar buff, but kind of lightning related. This is neat because it actually zaps. Um, if you have the uh, the proc up, it will actually zap chests and barrels and stuff, boxes, and open them for you. Hair device is, um, go over that. It does adds cold. There we go. Ancestral cry. I usually don't use those or that. Corrupting fever is interesting, but uh, it's, it's work and I don't want to have to do work. Warlord's mark. Um, this curse is a single enemy and it's a chance to double the duration of the stuns. Two life leeches when hit by attacks. Cursed enemies grant me 2% life leech, 2% mana. Cursed enemies have a 100% chance to grant an endurance charge. Um, hit, hits against cursed enemies have a 41% chance to double their stun duration. Cursed enemies grant 20 rage regenerated over one second when stunned. It's interesting, but I don't want to have to do the extra work, so we're going to go with this one. I don't want to have to click everything. Let's do this. Here we go. We're just going to do an aura. Herald of Ash. Pop it right there. And we'll take this fist thing off here. We're going to put it right there. So that means one and two. Let's just go out real quick to set those up. Make sure we have them on. A little bit of flickering there. That's interesting. So right now we have 63 of our mana reserved for this vitality. That regens 20 health per second. Then we're going to take them bigger chunk off like that but watch what it does to our damage we're at 713 792 and it'll only get stronger and stronger pretty cool uh let's go grab some quick e exp here that blue that blue pack should do it Still didn't. That's how over leveled we are for this area. Come on. Just a little bit. I just want a little bit of EXP. Just hit that level so we can use that belt that I have in my hand. Come on. Wow, it really doesn't want us to. That large flask would be nice. Oh, it's only at 250 here, but that's still decent. Oh, we can pick it up. Good, good, good. Oh, look at the big guy. Let's knock him out. Oh, gosh, that was so easy. And now we can upgrade these. Here's our 885 so far. Well, that's with the 784 without the totem. 792. We'll go right back to town, the easy way. Well, the cheap freeway. <laughs> and we're going to go like this. Sell items. We know we want to sell this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Cool. Now, here's our damage, 742. With that. 787, because we enchanted it with the, uh, at our crafting bench in our hideout. We put that on there and added it. That also made it so that it had to be level 24 to wear it. So that was a little bit of a mistake there, but we're okay. Let's take a look at our um, defenses, our resistances. Now, resistances generally cap out at 75%. You can raise that cap a little bit higher, meaning you can get them up to 80%, maybe even 82. You could really specialize and try to get them up to 90, but it's really hard. But generally, 75 to 80 is where a lot of people end up with. Well, right now... Our cold resistance is only 28. We've got pretty low resistances, but they're okay. We're only in, what are we in? The second act. That's actually really high for the second act. Let's see if we can spend some points here. We're heading for this right here. We want more damage. We want to be able to crush stuff. So right now, oops. Why isn't that showing up? Oh, offense. There. <laughs> Let's use that point. Bring up that 787. We're going to take this one right here. 817, getting stronger and stronger. Speak. 
and let's go ahead and sell or stash this away. Now we have an Val Orb, another Chance Orb, and we'll put those away and that away. And this, I think we might. Yep, I suspected that was the case. Not only that, but I suspect we're going to be able to sell this too. Make it fast. Sell items. One, two, three. Except sell items. Oh, that's my instant recovery one. That's not that great. 122, we have 600. Nah, we'll just sell th all three of them. Look at that, 640 over three seconds. But we can only use it twice. Two and a half chart, two and a half times. So we're going to say accept. It'll put it there. And then I'm going to just as a chancy backup, just right in there, just in case things go wrong. All right. So where does one want us to go next? We've done that. We've done uh, the root of the problem. Let's go there. And we've been here before. What it's going to do is it's going to use, I think, this spike. Yep, use both of them. Nice. We read that up. Now we go into the runes. Easy stuff. And let's just crank through this stuff. Now we're up to a level 20 area. This is a lot nicer. But we still should be we're still over leveled. Now I have to worry about my mana a little bit more as well because I don't have as much, you know, room spare extra room there. Only I only have to use a worry about the mana if I'm doing like a lot of hits. One, two, three, you know. Right in a row, boom, boom, boom. But if I'm just doing a hit here and there, my regen is plenty. This says find your way through the runes. We're gonna do that. And it says that up to the right over there. We're just gonna try to find our way through here. We're only gonna stop for the blues and if there's a bunch like this, we'll pack down the totem pole. Looks like we're good. And oh there's a blue pack, nice. That gave us almost two levels or two bars of our level right there. That's pretty nice actually. A two-tone ring, that's interesting. That's our first one that I've seen of those. See how it gives 14 fire and cold, and it's not even a magic. So, you know, it's two resi two sets of different resi resistances there. Pretty cool. Oh, wrong way. We'll go this way. Gotta click the doors to open them. Nice if they just opened up automatically for us. Yeah, sprinting along. Not really. Ooh, there's a Val area. Val area. And we'll take this scrap. Pretty devastating. One. Can I jump over here? Try. Oh, I did. <laughs> I was trying. It was on the edge there. And there's a vile area right up here. Let's open these two chests. And just get a wisdom scroll. Oh, we got two for that. That's an armor scrap. We'll turn it into two wisdom scrolls. You don't have to read all this, but um, it just shows you all the things. Maybe if it says reflect. I don't know if I've ever seen a reflect damage. So that would be bad, but we're just going to go in here and crush it. Now we're in a level 21 area because it's always plus one above whatever area you're in. We are in a 20, now it's a 21. Interesting items drop out of these places. And it always drops a Vol gem at the end, one or two or three or four. So it's definitely worth, uh, I think, is this the way? Let's see. These are all randomly generated, so. Oh, jagged foil, we'll take that. And our gems need us to be the next level up to go to the next level again. Ooh. Put that down. Got froze. Ugh. Now I'm unfroze. Not nice. Once we become unstoppable, we won't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Just open up chests and not even worry about it. About getting frozen or slowed down. Ruby ring, that's going to be fire. Blah. All right. We're gonna go this way. It looks like the end. Here we go. Look at that guy. We just crushed it. That's how uh, 
devastating it is. Now, it, this is going to be interesting. We can upgrade this gem by a level. And here it is. It currently does 25. I'm reading the numbers. 25, 2, 19, and 9. 25, 4, 15, and 9. So we'll hope, hope more will go up, but so far that's the case. But it still only uses 25%. There's no downside there. Always click that because the vo the vol items are hidden behind it. We've got three of them and Warhammer that's corrupted. And these should be there, Blade Vortex. So these are all different gems. Detonate dead. You can you're gonna get different ones than I will. I'm gonna save those in my uh, collection because those are you can't buy them anywhere. So you can only find them on the sides like this. So in case I ever want one, I can just have it. You should not throw those away. Unless I have duplicates, and you end up with a lot of duplicates as well. Oh, we'll do the augment. Nice. We're about to hit a level. Very nice. Now, not only this is this a level, but... There's our 897. Now we get to unlock this. What is this? Blue 2 to range and area of effect. Probably be doing that too. Even though that doesn't affect our damage, it makes it wider and have increased area of effect. Across the board, that's really nice. So I'm going to take that too. But it doesn't up our actual damage. just makes our damage spread out more. Let's apply this point. This is a big node. Look at all the different things it does. Attack speed. I wanted more of that. Oh, almost a thousand now. We were down at like 222 just a little bit ago. It's unbelievable though, how how fast it scales up now. Boom! Blows everything up. Drop that down and boom! Oh, we can unlock this. Let's do it. And we're going to unlock it, whatever it is here. There's the line that it has to cross. Brutal. That's fine. Should unlock whatever it is. a mana potion just to make sure it got there and let's see what it gave us accuracy and that so uh 105 1056 now we drop down that we're up to 1200 this is a drastic difference that weapon that changed everything we got those weapons and we started getting uh, whatchamacallits uh oh easy what the heck? What's going on here? What is this? That was serious or whatever it was. That dropped us down to there. Makes me want to get a... Uh, what you can call it now? <laughs> Grand Mana Flask. I'll take that. And a medium one. I'll take that one too to trade it up. That was interesting. I was like, wait a second. It's dying that fast. Must have been some chaos damage or fire chaos. I don't know. I got shotgun. Hit me hard. Broke it. Here we go. That used. We're gonna go through here. Ancestors and there should be a doorway. I have opened the way to Kitaba, father of corruption. Here we go. Well, the northern part of the forest. All right, there should be a waypoint right there. And we'll probably hit town real quick just to empty this stuff out. Now they're going to blame the darkness on me. Uh-huh. It's ever happened before since me. Yeah, I know. It was my fault. Uh-huh. I hear you. Except. And... Put those are the gem slots. That one, too. And we'll put these one here. That over. And one there. Perfect. Uh, will they give us any rewards? I don't think so. Go with the spirit. What? I gave the there's one. No. Go with courage. Okay. Oh, what about him? No. Keep your witch about you. Let's go back over here. He wants us to go through. Oh, we didn't unlock this. Got to go unlock that. 
Darn it. Locate the hand of the good man. Yep. That's easy to get. We'll go get it. Should be though right over here. Go. And let's go in there. It's our sprint. We can start our other spool. We'll unlock this thing too to get our next thing. I don't know if that brittle's gonna help us. We'll, uh, oh, we gotta get through this wall. Turn here. And we'll open that up. And we're done. There we go. And we could do it. Let's just knock it out and see what happens. Brittle away. Dude, let's go up to 100%. We gotta have some fun, right? I've got my uh, hand hovering over the heal button. I used a mana potion. Healing potion. Well, these guys are a little hard. A whole lot hard there. Come on. So it's amazing, even with really, really good damage. Yeah, I'm getting frozen is why. Well. Can't wait to have unstoppable. Don't have to worry about stuff like that. Come on, slow down. Greater life, I'll take it. Anything else? Nah. Okay. Let's go find the next layer down. Sprint potion. Take care of this guy real quick. Look at that, what the heck? Never seen something like that happen. Just all that stuff. Oh, it's a bunch of battered helms. Interesting. Must have been some kind of like duplicate uh, modif modifier on the guy. Okay, let's see what some of this, what some of this is. I can't really use any of this. Look at those connections. I don't want that. Maybe this one? Maybe, but it's no, it's a four link. I, I can't replace that four link, so no. All that stuff is a no go. Should be right over here somewhere. There we go. Played this game a little too much. And let's hit town to unload this stuff. What do we get out of this? Dark. What troubles you bring? What? Oh, if you if you sell three of the same item by chance, it'll turn it into a re-rolled item. We don't want to do that, so we're gonna sell that that. And we'll turn it in. So we got three, not bad. We got almost three and a half, uh, three of those uh, alchemies. Oh, we can upgrade our thing like this. We'll put the cycle, uh, this thing right back in this. I hear you, chicken. There we go. And let's go grab the hand, the golden hand or something like that. <laughs> uh, this way, uh, this way. Ooh, looks like an Einhardt over here. Can we tank it? Come on, boom. We tanked it. <laughs> A little brave to stand in the explosion sometimes. Take that. Not that. That. And we'll have this now. Let's go find out where it is. There's probably a, a labyrinth in here, but we don't. we've already done it, so we don't have to. And that's the thing where you, uh, you know, you go through the ascendant, you know, unlocks the next thing of six things that you have to unlock. Ooh, there's another uh, creature. And if we don't find all five creatures, that's okay. But if we happen to find them as we go along, I'll, I'll take it. Chromatic orb, prismatic staff, lots of craziness there. Here's the orb. 
or not the orb, but the uh, grip to the next level down. We're looking for. Oh, we can do this thing. Blacksmith, take it. And what do we get out of this? Let's see. I would say up to like 90% just to make it faster. There, that's funny. Come on, no dying. It's my health potion. Because once there's only one creature left, you're not getting as many, uh, you know, life gains on hit anymore. But it, it, oddly enough, it becomes more dangerous for you when there's only one creature left standing there. It's more helpful if there's a bunch of ads out there because like that one hit heals us for whatever. Let's see. Uh, life gain on hit. All right, here. 16 per. So if there's like eight of them, you're looking at one, 108. No more than that. 128. <laughs> All right, what are we going for here? I got to look around lag there. Like that. There we go. Oh, not this way. Not this way. Must be up here. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Finally, we get a unique item. We haven't had one of these. Probably not going to be that great because, you know, we're low level, but we're over leveled for this area. Let's find out what it is. I don't think the Lapis Amulet is that good, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, that looks like a, a caster item. All right, let's find out. <sighs> Grants 10, level 10 Purity of Elements. That's pretty good, actually. Max to uh, all, 10 to all elements. This is, um, I'll show you what this does. Oh, this is a summoner doing this, isn't it? Yep. That summoner is just going to make an endless number of them for us. Okay. So, our defense is 30, 28, that. We'd be giving up 30% increased mana res, which we really kind of need, but what else? Nothing else, essentially. But we'd get all attributes 15. So we'd get some mana back, some more life, more intelligence. I think this might be worth it, oddly enough, because even though we get lower regen, we get more mana to start with. And we get 10 to all elements, and then we get this spell. Watch this. Right there, plus 26 to all elements. Is that really the case? Doesn't 30 goes to 40. Grants level 10 purity of element purity of elements skill. Well, I don't see it to nearby at you and nearby alum. You and nearby are immune to all elemental ailments. But I don't see it giving us, you know, I see the plus 10. But I don't see the other part of it. I mean, it's nice. Hmm. I never really paid attention to that. We'll have to see. I think it's a good thing. I mean, I'll, I'll still use it, but it should be giving us another 26. I don't see it happening. Maybe maybe it's in the background. It doesn't show on the sheet, but it's there. It's a possibility because it's like giving it to other, you know, other. Hmm, I don't know. There's the uh, hand should be right over here with this exclamation point. All right. Very cool. Oh, I can't only grab that. Oh, where's the hand? The hand is hand is talk to the hand right there there we go and we can go back to town right after we open that chunk that trunk okay let's go sell this stuff off real quick 
What? What? Uh huh. What? What? And we're gonna sell. Maybe this guy wants it. Book of regret. We'll take that. We can have another regret point, which is a refund point for this. Pretty cool. And stash tab. We'll just put that here for now, just in case we might want to switch out of that. But I don't think so. I think it's fine so far. Make it far. Make it far. Right here's the next move. And I think we just go for that. There is a side item area, but I don't think there was ever anything in it on the way, way through. Fine. I guess they really wanted to fight. We're four, we're four levels over level. We gotta get out of here. I do love smashing stuff. Ooh, some blue boys. Swift assembly, that's for a totem build. And we're heading on a... Oh, this is gonna unlock this. Yeah, huh. I wanna take care of these guys around us. And... Take that orb, and I think we can almost get get it there. Now, probably another one just to be safe. I don't want to have to fight like, ridiculous hard things. We'll just do brutal. Just want to move through this area. Oh, we got a level. Looks like we're gonna get a bigger AOE area. What is he doing? Way over here, he's cast on us. Okay, let's do that. And we're going to actually pick this right here. It's going to be even a bigger area of effect with a longer strike range, too. Beautiful. Just keeps bigger. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, we don't want to go in the dread thicket. I don't think there's anything in there at, on this part of the that we want out of there yet. Come on. Oh, two stone ring. Uh, don't freeze yourself here. Drop that down just to protect us. Let's see what it was. Ooh, this is a nice item. We're going to hang on to this for sure. Because this helps us wear items that we might need to like put on temporarily to that have a dexterity or intelligence um, requirement. So it's always good to have one of these. Even though it's like two to five. It's just an item on there that un gives you the ability to wear something. And then you can take it right back off again. All right, what do we have here? Two uh, life, uh, two two life per hit. That's kind of nice, and ten life per killed. Um, and the rest is kind of garbage. And how much damage would we lose if we wore that though? Let's see. Right here, we lose increased rarity, which is okay. We really don't need that too much. Our cold, we get more mana, which we do need. Our cold would go down a little bit. No, our cold right here would go down a bit. That's bad. I'm going to skip this one because I definitely need the cold, the cold of 28 because I really don't have any other cold right now. And this we're going to put on our storage thing just in case we need something to wear. As you play more, you'll realize that. Be like, hey, I really need something like that. Really need support. Okay. Say so. And away we go. Hop through there, buddies. Look at this interesting stuff here. Take that scrap. Take that. And that. Take this guy out here. Take these guys out. Come on, one more. There we go. Alteration. Moving on. And right through here. And away we go. We're up to a level 22 area, but we're level 26 again, so really got to get ahead and stop fighting everything but I can't help it because they're so fun I'll try to ignore them but I just can't do it 
that's the biggest thing. It's really hard to ignore creatures like this because you know you want to fight. It's fun, but you know you really should be moving ahead to the bigger and better stuff. So we're just skipping all these things, hopping over them, jumping on their heads. Doesn't matter. But if it's a blue pack, I'll slow down it. We'll take this. Be nice. Now you can see if you're playing correctly as in uh, the, trying to go for the most efficient thing. You wouldn't stop be stopping at all these like this and fight this orange guy. You wouldn't be doing all that. But you wouldn't have be having fun and killing stuff. <laughs> Where are we going here? Not that way. Maybe up here? Yeah, I'm barely looking at I'm I'm looking at the map, the overlay. I'm barely looking at the actual game part there, or even the monsters, because I just want to get through this map. And maybe this way. Oh, the blue guys, we'll take these up. Take that scroll. We'll take that superior. Oh, this is a dead end here. Send the ancient Val pyramid. Huh. Oh, there's the door I see now. Right this way. Come on, almost. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> see, I was trying to go through there. I didn't, I didn't see that it was a door that I had to click. I wasn't even looking at that. There we go. And let's run right up here. And can we run here? We're looking for another door. I think these are magic guys, yeah. We get another level out of this. I don't know why I opened that door. And away we go. Just like that, and ooh, we're gonna try to unlock this next um, crucible right over here. Drop it. Toad them down and let's knock these guys out. Get close to another set of levels on here. Drop a crucible down and we should be really close to a level. Not really though. Let's go to Brutal Let. There we go. That'll be one more to unlock the next level of it. I'm watching my health bar over there a lot. Oh, we got a, a level out of it. Pretty cool. What do I want to build? What do I want to go for next? Got that. Here's an interesting one for, for defenses, because we'd get this and this. That's 20 total resistances. Pretty good. We're, our defenses are ridiculous right now, so let's get that. Not our, not our defenses. Our offense is really good, so... Maybe some more resist resistance, this would be nice. So we'll take it. More mana would be nice too. There's no real easy mana ones anywhere close to us right now, I don't think. Well, there's the way. the way. You can jump on these barrels like that too if you want. Scroll of wisdom. Take it. Iron ring. It's uh, just blue. We'll take it. Oops. I'm gonna open that door up. Or this way. Let's take a look at the map and actually pay attention. Here we go. There we go. And this up and this is or should be very close to the the fighting room and oh, look at that oh but we need to be the next level up to unlock the gems again <laughs> we're very over leveled over leveled uh usually that doesn't happen that often oh that will take this come on blow up i don't want to right here. 
see how far these things are reaching now. It's really nice. And the Pyramid Apex. This item is going to be right into here. Oop. Plants it off. We'll take our uh, map off and just put it off to the side for a second. And this guy does an overhand slam that will crush you dead if you're not careful. This guy. And he winds up, but sometimes if it's oh, like right here, you won't see him winding up or right here. So uh, you got to be careful with this guy. So you kind of run in a circle and try to find out where he's going to do it. Then... Dives back underground. Please, our mana potion. Let's see if he winds up dropping the ceiling on us. Whoa! I didn't. I hit him so hard and so fast. He never got an overhand slam off. I'm so used to him, you know, being a lot harder on ruthless mode. Wood splitter. Let's see if this is. Uh, it can't be better, right? Nah. Nah. No way. Ooh, we're into the new city area now. We're just going to sprint right up here. We got to do a little quest on the way to the city. Nice area. Pretty, pretty cool. Clarissa. There's a quest for her right up here. Yeah, she's sitting here. Got to stop here. And then she gets up and she'll give you a quest. She's a little slow. But she'll get there for you. I don't mean to sound... I, I bet you could probably skip her and not worry about it either. Oh, I bet you this is going to unlock. See how we can do that? Just hit those guys without falling them down there. We could also leap down there and back up if you want to. I think this is going to be the last one, yeah. I think that'll be enough right there. Come on. Oh, that's a brutal guy right there. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Ah, this... I swear, it would be tough not to do this on, like, another, like, a regular character without, whatchamacallit, without, as a, a lot of armor, a lot of defenses. Whew. Back down to this one guy here. This blinder thing. Should know it, but I don't. Got a level out of that. Nice. And the weapon is now all the way charged up to, you know, it's 12% chance to inflict brittle. <laughs> okay. It's a claw. All right. Now we can just hop down here and go to town. Nine sixty-three. Let's see what we get. 1,013. And let's go up into town here. I think you can just portal right over there, but we'll just run over there the slow way. <laughs> and what do we have? Sell that stuff. Get all that. Pretty cool, actually. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Goodbye. And I think we have to talk to this guy. But I, even if you don't talk to him, I think you get the quest by default. Yes. Sell it. Uh, not sell it. It's this. Oh, that's that swift assembly thing. We don't want that. Be careful. Okay. What do we? Can we buy anything yes. from her? Like, not gems yet. Eventually, buy gems. Buy all this other stuff. Diamond flasks. Critical strikes, pretty cool stuff. But we're not gonna do it. See you. See you later. Okay. Looks like
looks like we're not using this. For now, we're going to put it right over here as a maybe we use the future type thing, but eh. This is hanging out with dexterity and intelligence just in case we get an item that requires that to put it on. So let's say we had a ring that said required 10 intelligence that we didn't have to put on. We'd put this on, put the ring on, and if the ring had intelligence on it, then we could take that back off and it would still be activated. It's just a trick to get around that. The normal thing. Cyclone. 15, 6, and 8 quality. So 31 is that. 14, 29. All right. Where do we go here? Oh, next up. This is the... Uh, once we get this one unlocked, then we can open this door and we can go in and do our ascendancy and become unstoppable. Although we might not do the unstoppable, we might do um, undeniable or there's another one where it's uh adds a lot more damage. I like damage a lot, so I like smashing things. We're going to find Tolman in the crematorium. So let's get on that. Oh, oh we got to go back here. So I want to spend that point. So how are we going to spend it? Our defenses are 45, 43, and 55. But if we spend this right here, boom, 60, it's 58, and 70. We're becoming very tanky. Very tanky. Take the guys out. What is the level 24 area? Still behind, still behind, still behind. Um, we're technically not using our three uh, Link Silver Gloves here. So if this is way better, which it should be, we're just going to pop it on there and take the hit. Ooh, uh, increased rarity. Two mana per enemy killed. Not horrible. A little puts a dent in our mana that we need. Energy shield, max life. Across the board, it's better that on there what else uh 17 to fire resistance so now our fire resistance is uh all the way up it's over cap see how it says 77 but you know the cap we're currently capped at 75 so pretty cool and this is the great we don't have the item to get down in there yet i see that portal scroll over there but i want this take the portal scroll i'm gonna keep looking for the um, crematorium. Oh, I really thought that was the way. I'm not going back for that wisdom scroll. We feel rich now, don't we? <laughs> well, there's another shrine over here, but do I really want it? Maybe. With the, one of those. Take them. Just like that. Oh, is this the, where it is? I saw a book over here. Now, crematory. We're still looking for you. Ooh, whetstone. I'll take it. Oh, we gotta get another level before I can level our gems. Never seen it where I've been ahead like this so far. Usually I don't. You know, I've been taking my time, so I've been very thorough killing everything everywhere. I guess that's what happens. Oh, it's this way. Come on, crematorium. I think you're up here. All right. Right down there. There we go. And it's just a feeling where, you know, you kind of figure it out. They're random. Uh, these are all random. They generate it every time you come in. There's another trial in here, but we've already done it, so we're in good shape. I'll take that whetstone. But we're looking for the, uh, for Tolman. The guy that's in here. Clarissa's, uh, husband. Specifically. that it right there? No, that's the trial of the ascendancy thing. We don't want to do that. Okay. Was that a 
Goldie. Or for transmute, I'll take it. Did I hop over that door? I did. <laughs> didn't notice it the first time. Oh, it's not this way at all. It's over this way. Let's open that door so the fireballs get through there. Blocking us, we can jump over it, but our fireballs can't. you're playing with two people and one person doesn't have uh, the ability to jump over these things and the other one does, <laughs> they kind of get left in the dust. Uh, can we get through here? No, no, no. This is the way. Down here is the way. I'm just looking at the map and moving around that way. Uh, we'll do this summoner out, knock the summoner out. Well, they've got a lot of shielding on them. Kind of a pain. Let's grab that. On going oh, this way, right down here, and then to the right or to the left. Oh wow, they're making us go way far away. Take these guys out, and these guys too for fun. Yeah, our our regen is not very good right now. So I took that other regen ring off. We'll just use a health You're potion or mana potion. To be realistic. Okay. You brute. We're gonna put that on there. Very nice. You even feel pain? Not really. Occasionally. Enough of this. Enough of this. Oh, and she vanished right before him. Very tricky. There's the bracelet, and this guy doesn't look to be in good shape. The husband. Let's see what we get. We're at uh, 1121 now in damage. Must not have been anything related to that. Ooh, mana flask, we'll take it. And what else can we do here? Now we have a choice, or we have some choices. Oh boy. I want, there's a splash damage, that's kind of nice. But there's also the area of effect, that's kind of nice. There's, what else down over here? There's, I think there it is. Oh, right here. Non-Val strike skills target an additional enemy. What this allows is, see this thing right here? Uh, li not life, this one. Supports melee strike skills, causing them to also strike an extra target, also strike at extra targets simultaneously. So this one supported strikes at two additional targets and it lowers our damage. But if we were to get this and it is uh, <laughs> strikes one additional target, which is fine still, I think that's the way to go. And then we get increased damage, area of effect, increased damage, area of effect, area of effect and that I think that's where we're going next so we're going down this way now it's tempting we could also do this uh, right here plus five to all elements plus one to the maximum plus two to the, the cap so we'd be at 77 now you'd think oh one percent what's what's the big deal on that well, when you're when you're capped at 75%, that means that essentially you have 25 you're taking 25% of the damage. Well, that 1% of 25 is at a 4% damage. So this is an 8% damage reduction by being able to be capped at 77. It's a really big deal. You can get up to not you can get up to 90 as you get closer and closer to 100 these cap numbers mean more and more and more on a percentage basis of the remainder of the damage that is out there. So it's really, really powerful. Ooh, what about this? This is uh, tempting. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Increased stun duration. Increased physical damage. 
One, two, three. Increase damage. Increase damage. 10% chance to double. So this is like a stunning thing. I don't really do stuns. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go for this, but uh, it's tempting. That's the leech one. There's a bunch of stuff over here. A lot of um, elemental. This right here is if you get this one and these, it's plus 28 to all of your um, your elemental resistances. Go over here, you can get another 15% life. That's an interesting way to go. And then you can always pick up another jewel slot along the way. Interesting. Ah, oh, break of death region. No, not that one. Here's the accuracy one that we need as well once we get the ascendancy for it. And increased accuracy against techniques, which is more, um, what do you call it, uh, more damage as well. We're going this way. We're just going to go after this, then we're going to work through here and into there. So I'm, I think we're going to be turning this into a cyclone build, because I really do like cyclone. And I think we can get out of here now and go back to town. Tone. Tone. What do we get here? Anger. Fifty percent of our mana. So we'd be at seventy-five plus that. Oh boy. We'd probably get rid of this regen. Thirty thirty per second. Nice, but you know. Um it's expensive. It's getting more and more expensive. Anger. Um it reserves fifty percent of our mana plus twenty five from the other aura. Determination. This thing is ridiculously powerful. You and nearby gain 40% more armor. More, as in times 0.4. <laughs> that, that, it, that's just a huge one. And what is that? 50% of our mana. Vengeance. That's just something that you just slap on there and it does it by itself. Nothing wrong with that. I can just put it in any red slot. I don't have one, but I can turn one. These red. Punishment. That's a curse. Vulnerability is a curse. I don't have any ability to just put a curse out there right now. I like it where it's automatic, so I'm not going to do that. Pride. Nearby enemies take at least 15% more damage. That's an aura, 50%. So I can go with determination to give me armor, or pride to give me more damage. That's very tempting. 30% as they stay in the aura for... Wow. 30% more damage. Eternal cry. General. Petrified blood. This is really great for, um, what do you call it? Uh, cyclone. So it does physical damage, and it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna, I, I want to have some fun. I want to hit stuff. So we're going to go like this. General Gravisius. And we're going to come over here. We're going to buy the uh, Vengeance one, too, just because it's fun. I need to... I'm sorry, Clar Clar Clarissa. The guy was not in good shape. Ooh, 830. That's better than what we have. Except... that put this one here that's better than 20 percent chance to gain a flask when you deal a critical strike pretty cool huh 250 that's better than that let's Watch go ahead yourself. And this in here we need to change this let's take this off for a second we're gonna try, hope for two reds how easy is it gonna be to get a red it's mitts. I think these are like more dexterity based, but we'll see. What does it say? Two reds. Three. At least one red. There we go. And we're going to get one more red in a second. Just like that. And like that. And we're going to get something? vengeance, I think. Vengeance. Dread Banner is interesting. 10% of our mana. Vengeance. What 
just pop that there. And this thing, basically, I don't think there's a real downside to it. 30% to trigger this skill when you're hit. You can use this, can't use this attack directly. So you could even scale this up if you wanted to. Let's see. Vitality. I think it would work with faster attacks, maybe. Oh, easy. Let's see if it will. Yeah. It'll hit harder or faster. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. And it just does its own thing just extra damage. If I've got a spot for it, I'll throw it in there. Vitality. Pride. It's going to be tricky. Um, let's change pride to right here. There's pride. There's pride. Vitality. Oh, let's change that to pride. Yeah, that's, that's to pride. This to fist the, the uh, oh. Herald of Ash, this to nothing, that to nothing for now, and the control will be Vitality, but I think we're not going to do Vitality. See you. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There, I wouldn't have any mana left. I don't think I'm going to have any mana left. Even at 75%, that's too little. I, I kind of want to take back my other, uh, yeah, I think I really do. I want to take back that 30% thing. This. I want the regen back. I don't want to sit there and be out of mana as much as I've been. I no longer dream when I sleep. I have a nightmare. I walk. Now you must leave. Okay. Looking over things, and we got to go back to that. Oh, got to turn this guy in. Victor, good luck to you. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to use all three of those. The uh, vitality. Pride and the flame. So we'll see. We're gonna take. We're gonna press three to turn it off. Oop, three to turn it off. But we already have this going for 25%. If we use one, we'll be down to 25% of our mana left. Each fire takes 14. So we'll see how our uh, we'll fare here. Oh, let's see how much damage we're gonna be doing. 1100 if we take the pride off that's pride right more physical nearby enemies take at least Ooh, but that's nearby that's not good so i'm hitting stuff kind of far away what i'm going to do is i'm going to take pride off of here put it over here for, for now and then i'm going to put the vitality back here and just use vitality keep running with that. I have enough damage. With that, I'm up to 1260, yeah. And where was that way down? I think it was... Was it right here? No, it's right up here. Here's the grate. She gave us the key to it. And we go down. Into the sewers we go. stuff. And let's just, what is this? We're at 29, three levels behind. Let's get up. Let's try to ignore these guys. Try to, try to. Except for the blue guys. Try to ignore. And these guys, the golden guy will get. Drop our totem down, grab the mall, let's identify the mall real quick, even though it's a red, 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 there's no way we'll use that. Take that item out and find the next one. Is the next one this way, or... Uh, I think it's this way. Usually you only find one on this side of the, the um, waypoint. The other two are on the other side, so we'll see. There's one more. A blue set of blues. We'll take those. Let's find the third piece of the platinum bust thing. Oh, we'll open up this. Why not? We'll take the chromatic orb. We need some more of those, as you saw. 
There's another hideout right there, that little that little symbol. Go in here and clean out everything in there. Kill all the mobsters monsters. You get that hideout and you can you, you essentially unlock the sign for that hideout. So it's worth doing. There's some really rare ones that you might find in there. There's there's hideouts I've never found before. I know they're out there, but they're so rare. Sometimes people will find them and they'll they'll say, "Hey, I found it," and then they'll let people into their group to go and get credit for it too. They'll sit there for an hour, two hours, three hours, just work. Oh, look at this! Oh, three plus that one. We have a green here, but that's faster attack. We can always re-roll this. Let's see. What do we get? Strength. So this is way better. We're going to re-roll that with hopefully get one green on there so we can just move that over there. Nice. I was hoping it was going to be all four connected, but oh well. Because then we could have an extra um, we could move our weapon, up, you know, our attack off our weapon. I think it's going to be right over here. Come on, let's get lucky. Looking for the... Oh, we found a way out, but that's not what we want. We want to find that other bust. Come on, where are you? Hmm. Maybe down here? I see that wisdom scroll. Is it down here? No. Is it down... Oh. I went a little too far. Could be right through here. And you can change your um, mouse too under the uh, game settings too. Under the options to make it different. Although sometimes you lose the mouse. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Come on, where is this thing? There it is. Take the broad axe. Oh, it's way this way now. This this is the first time where I've seen it really uh, um, trick me into not finding it very quickly. Should I find them very easily? Not this time though. Okay. And deliver it to Hag. Okay, but we're not going to go to him right now. We're going to go back this way. It's going to go to the marketplace and try to unlock the next one. Jump, jumping, jumping. I'll take that. <laughs> okay. And let's go find the... Uh, there should be one somewhere around here. A uh, waypoint. Out of chest. Pretty cool. Okay. I'll take the portal. Is there something this way? Let's see. Oh, that was a dead end. See that? Dead end. That's okay. We're going the right way in general. What about over here? Got ya. Okay, we don't need this. These guys hit pretty hard. See that? Look at that. They're really actually hitting. But I've got a lot of defenses, so in good shape. Here's the portal. And we can go back to town real quick. Hargan, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, skill book, I'll take it. Right click on it, and we'll spend the point. And it's a boring point, but it's a point we need. Right there. Then we're going to get these three and that one. Pretty cool. We're getting closer and closer to unlocking our, uh, whatchamacallit, to the, uh, I could have sold over that, that guy. Sold, 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 and 
got this. Let's get one green. That's not a see green. you. One green. That technically works. No. 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 Ugh. Fine. Faster attacks. I could make something else with this leap slam. And vengeance will put there. Here we go. Put that there. We'll just sell this, I guess. We don't want to put it right there. Sell this guy. I think it's a uh, I don't know who's closer there, technically. Bring me back something nice, huh? Bump, 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 bump. Done. Let's go find out where we gotta go. We click this and it'll kind of tell us. So it's that way. Go right in there. And we're going to look for this. We got, we got to go in here. To the catacombs. Just like that. There we go. Determination is a really good aura too. Tons of armor. Really beautiful item. Or a beautiful uh, aura. They, I think they've even nerfed it over the years to make it worse, but it's still really good. Don't tell them I said that. Oh, come on. Oh, got a level. Helmet and the ancient sword. We'll take it in the portal scroll. And we're going to go right here. 1100 and more um, area of effect. 1149. We're just adding up and adding up. Oh, here's a couple of whatchamacallit. Einhardt beasts. We'll take them. We haven't had any good uniques yet, so uh, I'd like to see some. We can get uniques there. Oh, look at that. I just talked about it, but it's a boot knife. It's a good leveling item. We haven't had any good uniques yet. Let's see. I think it's a leveling item. Level 20. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. Heck, it's a one-hander, and it would have outclassed the weapon we had up by a ton. We'll put that in our unique collection. And let's see. I see all. I see four beasts on our um, on our much uh, cool Valor. But take that. Get them both. Got to, it's got to capture that other. There we go. And it's two out of four. The other one's right over here. And it's right here, I think. Take care of that summoner. Ooh, look, that's four aw orbs of or, and then the shell, the shards. Very nice. We really get four. That is huge. That is nice. Oh, he's got a head over him like that. What is that? I don't know. Yeah, I've played this long and I still don't know about... <laughs> I never paid attention to Einhardt Beast things, but that's something good. Let's see. Furry Boar. So if we capture him, what happens? Say something special? I don't know. We're going to go check it out, though. I hear you. There you go. And Pride Gem. It's, we're just leveling it up in the background. We'll probably be using that, but not quite yet. Where are we going here? We've already solved the Ascendancy. Look at all those spiders. Everybody loves spiders, that's for sure. Oh, dead end. Draw all that. There's the Ascendancy. The trial that we'd have to go through, but we've already done it. We're looking for the way down. Ancient sword. I'll take it. What's the... Oh, only three. The one-hander. They can't have four uh, sockets on a one-hander. But a two-hander can have six sockets. So that's why a lot of people like using six-socketed uh, items, because your chest can have six sockets all linked, and your weapon can have 
six sockets, all linked. You can really come up with some interesting builds that way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. No, all alteration orb. At this point, I probably should download a uh, options game item filter. Do I have any? Let's go with default and see what it does. See if it'll start to highlight stuff for me. Those look already smaller than before. I don't think it's that way. Ooh, see this is different. See it put an outline around it. That made it a little different. So I, that popped out a little bit. See so yeah, that, that's a little bit different. See how these are versus that it has the little gray around it. And they're bigger so it's helping us no we don't want to go that way have we got the thing here and i just don't realize it or is it it can't be over here let's see um uh. Or is this just for the ascendancy? Travel to Solaris, travel to the patterns. Yeah, I might. This must might be just for the. Uh, yeah, it's just for the ascendancy. Let's see. We'll go out here and we'll see if that's not the case. It's okay though. Marketplace, catacombs. Is there anything that says for us to go in there? No, we've done it. We're just gonna go this way. It's okay. Oh, what is this? You have found that. Travel to the docks optional. I do all the side quests because they're not really they're optional, but they give you good stuff, so for me I always do them. Your speed racing wouldn't do them, but necessarily. Look at that. Make it. Oh, got another. Oh. Where can we put this shield? We're not going to do that. It's going to ignore it and move along. There's the way through. And we'll see if we can... We're in the battlefront now. Right up here. There should be... Hello, buddy. Level 27. We're level 31. We're still four levels over. Been trying to sort of ignore things but there's so many of them and I want to bash them I think there's one right up here let's see come on is it right over here blue guys can't pass them up <laughs> is that free link no oh yeah it is it had a little outline that green link around it or the green line around it so that meant there's way better item filters that'll really make things stand out even better than that though Two wisdom scrolls. I'll take them. Where is the, uh, whatchamacallit? Over here? Can I jump across there? Ooh, nice jump. There we go. There it is. I can't jump over that, though. But I can jump over here. And we can go to town. And let's go in here. We'll sell to this guy. Might. Not purchase, sell to this guy. We'll sell, 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 sell. Oh, not that. I'll, I'll put that in our collection. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really don't need it. And sell. Beautiful. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. And we'll turn this in, this in, this in, into our bank account. We'll put this in our unique tab. Kind of cool that we have that. 250. One, two. This a large one. Grants immunity to bleeding. Kind of nice. 
but we've got our anti-bleed here that we kind of it's kind of wishy-washy but it works <laughs> and we're going to go right here how much more damage do we get 1025 1065 get more here and then we're going to get more that's going to allow us to do take that off that off there and uh go more raw damage it's going to, instead of that negative thing, the minus, the less damage, that's going to be really nice. Really, really, really nice. Wooey! <laughs> and we'll get another um, a damage, a true damage dealer on there. All right. So, I think we're in good shape. We've got that sprig. We've got quests to do. I think this is a good time to wrap things up. If this has helped you guys um, in any way, or you like this series that I'm putting out, Go ahead and hit a like or subscribe. We're almost to a thousand, and it's a lot of fun. Hello, buddy. He's level 43. Ryza. 26. Ballista Arminians. Okay. And we get this guy. <laughs> Have a good one, and enjoy.